Today I'm playing Escape from Bermondsey's Biscuit Factory by Dan Slocombe. Use the two sticks to move your arms, I think. Use the triggers to grab. The shoulder triggers or the uh, main triggers? The main triggers, okay. Oh, I sort of have a grappling hook. I'm like a Spider-Man. Oh, okay. My character feels really heavy. Hey ya! Okay, I did it. Best time? Not available. Oh, I see. This is level select. Okay. Oh, look at this AI player flexing on me. Ooh, I like the music. Oh, uh, uh, B for partial reset. Ha! Ah. Okay, I guess I should talk about the game. Um, the aesthetic is fine. It's serviceable. Um, I don't mind pixel art type things. Um, especially if, because gameplay's king and all that. Um, oh, okay, I can sort of go through those. The tutorial was good. Um, I, it is taking me a minute to sort of get the hang of this. Um, okay, if I let go, will I fall to my death? No. Can I pop back up? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Um, the controls are taking some getting used to. Uh, they're not bad. I just... Uh, I'm not very good at this. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Also, it's kind of, um, it's hard to describe. I sort of have to pull down on the, I have to pull down on the control sticks to go up. I find that, and I get why it's doing that. It's because I'm, I'm pulling, like, like you pull your arms closed to bring your body up. So I, I kind of get it from that point, but it's, my brain's having a hard time wrapping around this idea of like, down is up. Also, my character seems really heavy. It's, I'm not sure how to like get elevation here. Oh no. I'm not, I'm doing bad with commentation because, commenting rather, because I'm really focused on, oh no, on getting this done. Um, okay, the, the swinging is a little more intuitive because you, well, again, so let me see if I can figure this out. So if I push left, yeah, if I push down, my character pulls up. Um, if I push down and to the left, I go to the right. It's because, um, again, because when you're you're pulling your arm, your body moves in the opposite direction. So I get that, but it just feels strange. Um, I'm trying to think of how, what might be better. Um, in my mind, it might make more sense to, um, like when I'm when I have not shot my little grappling hooks, like my arms point in the direction of the sticks, which is good. I like that. Um, however, as soon as I grapple onto something, it might be nice if, eh, it, it would be nice if up move my character up and down move the character down. 
Um, another thing is, I appreciate the low pixel style, but these uh, these letters are hard to read. Like the M's and the W's, I assume that's a W. I can't quite make out what they are. Um, so a few more pixels might be appreciated. However, the cloud in the background, those are really pretty. I like those. Yeah. I'm going to beat you this time, AI. Is there a difference in the, uh, the surfaces here? I'm not going to beat you, AI. Yeah. Oh, I can't grab onto these. Am I just done? Yeah, I think I have to start over. And up, oh, nope. So it, my my ropes kind of seem elastic, which is nice. I like that. Um, it's kind of hard to get a sense of like how far I can stretch and how far they the limit is. <laughs> nope. Yeah. I'm not sure why I keep bonking my head over there. I'm trying to stay to the left. I just can't seem to do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd be dead by now. I just... Okay, let's try to stop swinging. Okay, this is good. Yes! No! Dang it. Man, I cannot get over this lip of this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Well, that didn't help me at all. There we go. This is definitely a challenge, um, having only certain points that you can grapple to. You know, I'm... I seem to be getting the hang of this, though. Sunset. Nope. I like how the AI character just sort of biffed right at the beginning. Uh, in the beginning, I was sort of irritated that I couldn't keep up with them. But now it's just kind of funny. Oh, I didn't realize there was a block down there. Was, was that always there? Oh. Uh, these are not grapple points. Okay. Come on. You can do it. He. Who. Yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Oh, I'm done. I have to start over. Uh, again, I'm not commenting. I'm sorry. Uh, I am focusing really hard, and I'm finding that I'm having fun. This is pretty cool mechanics, I have to say. I could see doing some really interesting things with this, um, especially if you include things like moving platforms, different textures. Um, yeah, this has a lot of potential. It wouldn't be a game for everyone. Oh, okay. I seem to be bouncing. So you're already kind of doing the texture thing that I mentioned. Um, wouldn't be a game for everyone, but like, I don't know. Like, I, I know there's a, a subset of YouTubers who like to play like rage games. I could see them really getting into something like this.
Oh, that was lucky. Oh, well, I guess that's the end. Well, that's a nice little game. Um, as far as the mechanics, yeah, I'm not sure. I wish I could give you a more solid answer. I would like to play a version where that did I, what I described, where after you grapple, um, you can you the the direction you push is the direction that your character moves. Um, but near the end there, I was starting to get the hang of it. So I might be totally wrong. Um, I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you for sure unless that other version, I got my hands on that version. But um, I think there's a lot of potential for a good game here. Um, a few things to tweak that I mentioned, but yeah, mostly it's really solid. Nice job on this one.